Hello everyone, thank you for clicking that link and joining me again today. I'm so glad you did. I'm not even sure what day of Vlogmas, Vlogmas? Vlogtober? <laughs> I don't even know what month it is apparently. So uh, yeah, it's fourth, the fourth day of Vlogtober, I think. I don't know. All I know is yeah, it's Vlogtober. That's all I can tell you. So today is pretty boring. Sorry, I'm just folding laundry and I I'm not sure what my husband's up to, but I figure I need to go help him. He's either doing the garden or digging ditches, or well, filling in ditches. So, fun times. Um, if I end up helping with digging ditches, I probably won't work out, but if I don't, then I probably will train, and I'll record some of that for you, maybe. Um, yeah, it's pretty pretty uh, laid back day, so. As an ex-boyfriend a long time ago would have said, it's casual. So, so, in honor of it being Vlogtober, I figure I would tell you one of my ghost stories that happened to me. Uh, scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Might not be so scary for you. But I want to do it at night. So, I'm going to stop the video here. Um, if you see me in this, in the next you know 30 seconds or whatever that means the outside at night didn't work out so well but we'll see hopefully it'll be nighttime it'll be dark and that'll be you know, more, more creepy right so see you in a minute well if you're seeing this that means it didn't work <laughs> sorry so this ghost story happened to me many years ago when I lived in Payson. I was um, going to community college and I had made a friend with this lady who she and her husband worked at the local old folks home as like maintenance or, you know, just kind of helpers, you know, like if somebody needed a light bulb changed or a toilet unclogged or whatever, they would call um, my friend and her husband and they would assist. So, and we were taking community college classes together. So one day her vehicle was on the fritz, which is pretty normal. <laughs> her vehicle was always on the fritz because um, they always drove these old Jeeps. <laughs> but regardless of the vehicle situation. So I'm, I was like, okay, I'll just come and get you, you know, pick you up about whatever time. And she says, well, you know, I'm kind of tired today. So let me, I, I might be laying down. So when you pull up, just honk the horn and I'll come out and I'll grab my stuff and come out. I'm like, okay, whatever. So I show up and, you know, I didn't think too much of it. I honked the horn and then I started fiddling with the radio because I was like, you know, 18 or 19 and music was my life and I needed tunes. So, so I'm fiddling with the radio and she doesn't come out. She doesn't come out. She doesn't come out. I'm like, what the heck? <coughs> I mean, it was probably like five minutes. So I looked towards her apartment and they had a big bay window, right? And I see this figure standing in the window and I'm like, what the heck is she just standing there for? Come on, we gotta go. We're gonna be late if she doesn't get a move on, right? So I honk the horn again, or whatever, and I'm fiddling with the radio and, <coughs> excuse me. I'm probably singing along to the radio or whatever, having a good old time. And she comes out and she gets in and I was like, why were you just sitting there staring at me? In the window and she's like oh I wasn't and by this time I had already started driving off so I could not have looked back at the window so or I probably would have been like what anyway oh well it must have been your husband whatever so I'm, as I'm driving forward I see her husband coming down the sidewalk toward us and she says I blanched white as a sheet and that was my ghost story Come here. Come. Come here. Oh, come on. Come, come closer. There you go. Not too close. Ugh, you're too far away still. Well, if you like the video, click like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Air hugs. We're out.